Hi everyone, so the video that I have for you today is on this look right here. Um, it is a little bit crazy and a little um, more Halloween-y than a um, normal look that you would find. I really wanted to recreate this look. I've seen this picture around. Um, I did put a little bit of my own twist on it. If you would like to learn how to get this look, then please keep watching. Hi everyone, so as always I'm going to be using a primer to prime my eyelids so that my Eyeshadow stays on all day. This is Max Paint Pot. I'm just going to be placing this all over the eye and taking it up a little higher on my brow bone than I usually do. And then I'm just going to rub that out with a clean finger. Then going into my sleek makeup palette in um, the color Acid, I'm going to be using the dark matte black color. And with a flat shader brush, I'm going to be placing this all over my entire eyelid and bringing it up to the crease, but I do not want to bring it any higher than the crease. Then taking the neon orange color in this palette, I'm going to be using a pencil brush and putting that in the crease of my eye, and this is going to help blend out the black. So once I've gotten enough of that color on, I'm going to be going to a really, really fluffy brush and I'm going to be blending that orange out. And I'm going to be going back into the black and back into the orange and blending them both out so the color stays pigmented and also blending them out enough so that they look really, really nice and blended. And here I'm just taking the matte white in the palette and I'm just placing that as a highlight under my brow bone. Then I'm going to be moving on to my foundation. Um, I'm just using my L'Oreal True Match Foundation. I believe this is in the color N4. Um, I just placed this all over the one side of my face because I did this other side of my face before. And then I'm using a beauty blender to just blend that out. And when you're using a blend beauty blender, you want to make sure that the beauty blender is damp so that it doesn't soak up all your foundation. And then I'm using a translucent powder from Palido, and I'm just going to place that all over my face. The blush I'm going to be using is Pantau from Sleek Makeup, and this is a beautiful orange blush. So I'm just going to be using that orange blush just a little bit, not too much of it. And then I'm using Hula from Benefit, and I'm just going to bronze my face with that and contour a little bit. And then to blend out the contour and blush, I'm just going to be going back in with my Beauty Blender. For the glitter on the inner corner, I'm going to be starting using ELF's Makeup Lock and Seal. This is kind of like a Max Fix Plus. And I'm just going to be mixing a tiny drop of that with the glitter. And I'm going to place that glitter on my eye, my inner corner of my eye, with a very small brush. Once I'm done placing the glitter on the inner corner of my eye, here comes the fun part. You want to make sure that you have a very, very liquidy eyeliner for this. Um, it makes it easiest. So I am using Maybelline's Line Stiletto. And this is a felt tip um, eyeliner. This is probably, in my opinion, the easiest eyeliner to do this with. So for the bat, I'm going to start out by making its body. And then I'm going to give it some little ears. And then I'm going to be moving on to its wings. I tried to make this part a little slow and kind of do a little bit at a time. It's probably best to look at a small picture of, these, of a bat and then just kind of outline it really fast. Um, I only make a couple of these bats perfectly or very much alike like a bat. Um, like this one is going to actually look like a bat. Um, but the rest of them, if you look really close, they're kind of just a little scribble that looks like a bat from far away. Um, so don't be intimidated by this part. It's actually a little easier than it looks. And then for the smaller bats, I'm just going to be kind of making... So I'm going to be making some small little V-shapes that look like bats from far a far away distance. And then for the medium-sized bats, I'm just going to be making a really, really tiny body and then um, some little tiny wings. And I'm just going to be placing all those little bats all around my eye and staying in the orange area. So once I'm finished with the bats, I'm going to be using a very, very black eyeliner. And this is Too Faced Perfect Black Liner. 
I'm going to be placing this all over my bottom waterline and also my top waterline and kind of using the back um, smudge brush to smudge this in. And this is just going to give the black part of the eyeshadow a more smoky effect. And then to top it all off, I'm going to be using L'Oreal's Telescoping Mascara in Carbon Black. And then once you place globs of mascara all over your eyes, you are going to be all finished. All right, ladies, that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you soon. Bye.